the gaming today we are going to play the crouching magus hidden strings deck now this is going to be kind of confusing but just go ahead and try to stay with me on this all right it's going to be very very simple after i explain it but it's not going to be simple to people who are explaining this to just keep in mind you will be explaining this to a lot of people all right so first off we're just going to go ahead and we have a pretty i mean it's a pretty all right hand if we had an if magus elemental it'll be better i'm going to go dig i'm actually going to dig for one of those because that's going to be Pro that's probably going to be like the most that's the most confusing card so I'm just going to draw that by name and hell I don't, I'll, I'll just set this to the side it doesn't really matter right this is just a you know demo okay so we'll say that we started with this we'll put this on the top of the deck we'll draw that next turn okay so we're going to say we started with this alright so now we'll just go ahead turn one and have Magus Elemental alright so we lose two life yada yada or sorry gain 16 nope Go up to 18. All right, there we go. All right, so now we have that. All right, pretty normal turn one. All right, turn two. This is where it's going to get confused, a little bit confusing. All right, so what we want to do here, since we have hidden strings and trade doctorings, uh, all right, so it says hidden strings. You may tap a permanent and then untap another target permanent, all right? So you can actually untap your mana with this. So you want to just do this real quick. You want to do this. Go ahead and do that. Target both of these. I mean, yeah, you don't get any heroic triggers, but hey, you just untap both your mana, and this is now ciphered to your Niv Magus. All right, so the next you're going to want to do this. All right, you're going to play the Chrome Crusader. Okay, now stay with me here because this is why it's confusing, especially when you have multiple ciphers on something. All right, so now we're going to play pay the one. We're going to play Trait Doctoring. We are going to go. We're going to cipher it to the Niv Magus, but we're going to target the Chrome Crusader. All right, so that means we'll go ahead and get us a nice little token. Boom. Turn two, we have about three power across the board, all right? Pretty pretty standard, all right? Now, we're going to assume there's no blockers here because if there's not, then with a hand like this, they're really going to be hurting, okay? Like, really bad. So now, we're going to swing with the Niv Magus Elemental. And probably, hell, even the 1-1. One, one. Why not? Because it has haste. All right? So, whenever you deal combat damage with a Cypher, you then get to recast the spell, all right? Even if you consume this with the Niv Magus Elemental, your Cypher does not go away. It's there until the Niv Magus dies. Now, stay with me here. This is where it gets confusing. Okay, so I just dealt combat damage to the player with the Niv Magus, assuming there was no blocks. Now I have Trait Doctoring, and I have Hidden Strings on the stack. So now what we want to do here, you actually have a choice, because maybe you don't want to consume it with Niv Magus, but... Now this is, you have two options here since you have hidden strings and trait doctoring because well trait doctoring we'll go ahead and do that first all right so now what we're going to do with trait doctoring is we're going to target the Chrome Crusader okay and now keep in mind whenever you control uh, two spells that are on the stack you get to choose and both of these are going to go on the stack all right so we're going to target the Chrome Crusader then the heroic uh, ability trigger goes onto the stack all right then we're going to say I want to exile a spell that I control uh, to the Niv Magus all right so now we have the Niv Magus on the stack. So technically, the stack is going to look like this. You're going to have the Heroic Trigger, you're going to have the Exile for the Niv Magus, and then you're going to have the Trait Doctoring right below that. So there's going to be three things, all right? So now the way it works is that that's how you want to stack it. Since all three of those, since you control them, you get to choose how they resolve. Keep just keep that in mind. This is very complicated for some. Just keep that in mind, all right? So, so then you're going to want to have the Heroic Trigger resolve first, so that's gone, all right? We just got another token, all right? Now you're going to want to have the Niv Magus resolve, all right? So now that third one is now gone. It's exiled. But the Niv Magus thing gets two plus one plus one counters, so you just made it a 3-4, okay? Now, second. Now we have... Now don't forget we have two ciphers on here because we honestly had a really good opening hand. <laughs> this this would probably be wrecking some people unless they had a... I don't know, I guess a, unless they were on the play and they had a turn two course or otherwise, yeah, you'd be kind of crapping on people here. So, yeah, so anyway, so then we have the hidden strings. Now you have two options here because notice we have an ordeal of Perforos. All right. Now you could just go ahead and you could target both the lands, untap the lands just so you can put the uh, the ordeal on something, or you can just un or you can just tap the Acroan or you can target the Acroan Crusader with it. And then uh, then you could target something else, but I mean there's not anything else to really target here that has a heroic so I mean I guess just target a land I mean the effects not gonna go through so it's not gonna untap or tap so it doesn't matter so then you would target this guy boom alright 
Heroic triggers on the stack again, all right? Keep this in mind, guys. Heroic triggers on the stack, all right? Now there's hidden strings here. Just hero the heroic trigger and hidden strings, all right? So now you want to say Niv Magus Elemental going to activate his ability, or well, I guess trigger it. So now his ability goes onto the stack. Technically, it would come in right here, but guess what? You get to control you know, the stack and how it resolves. So that means that you now can just say, all right, I want the heroic trigger to resolve. Now I want the Niv Magus to resolve. So he used to do plus one, plus one counters, and hidden strings no longer exist. All right, it's still ciphered onto him, but that cast, that specific cast from melee damage no longer exists, all right? Now I want you to notice is that it's turn two right now. And you now have, that's a, that's, that guy's gonna be a three, four. Actually, no, he's, oh God, no, he's gonna be, shit, he's gonna be a guy, no, he's gonna be a five, six now, because you did the trait doctoring and the hidden strings. So now you have a five, six. You have one, two, three, four, one, ones, all right? You have about 10 power on the board on turn two. <coughs> now that's crazy okay that's how fast the deck works all right but the thing is about this deck is that I mean you know it's once you lose your creatures it's undone I'll be honest like if you lose your creatures it's kind of done you um, honestly you should be main boarding Boros charm here for this deck but I don't know why people don't but anyway so now you have the Acroans you know you have the Niv Magus and everything here all right so now let's go ahead and go on to turn three boom so we just drew another land Nothing really special here. So now we're just gonna go. We'll we'll play that tapped. Go ahead. We'll put an ordeal. Hell, we'll put it on a token. Why not? I mean, there's no reason. Oh, actually, no. Sorry, sorry. No, we're gonna put it on uh, the Niv Magus. Now the reason for this is that if you look at ordeal, it says whenever enchanted creature gets three plus three or more plus one plus one counters on it, then you get to sacrifice the ordeal and deal three damage to target creature or player. All right. So now since he already has, like, he has four plus one plus one counters on him, you're gonna get to sack and deal three damage or something. So where you would go ahead and just swing out. <clears throat> We're going to assume since it's turn three, someone's not gonna block something that has a, that's a five, six, honestly. If, I'll, I'll be honest with you, people would probably scoop to a hand like this. Like, I, I've, I've had a hand like this, and that's normally what happens. So now, yeah, so now we're going to swing. Probably no blocks again. All right, trait doctoring, target the Akroan. Heroic goes up, boom. Exile with the Niv Magus, he gets two more counters. So heroic, Niv Magus, trait doctoring's gone. All right, now hidden strings. You want to target the Akroan, get another token. All right, exile with the Niv Magus, heroic, exile, hidden strings is gone. Boom, you now have, like, a... Fucking! Oh, <clears throat> uh, he's a five-six when he swung. You get a counter from Ordeal to deal three damage, which would then make him a six-seven. Then you gain two, so now he's an eight-nine on top of one, two, three, four. Four, 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 one, one tokens, and then five. All right, so now you have like you have pretty much a lethal next turn if they can't do anything. Now keep in mind, turn three, guys. This is turn three. If you look over here, it'll say turn three. The deck's crazy. All right. So let's see if we can get like a hand where we don't have two ciphers. All right, so what do we got here? Okay, yeah, here, this will actually work. I mean, we do have a, actually, yeah, 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 actually this will work. <coughs> so see, now here, this is why we have the spring leaf drum in here, is for, say, okay, look, we have all this blue, but we don't have a blue, all right? So turn one, we'll just play this. Actually, hell. Or, nah, it doesn't matter. We'll go ahead and play this. Play the Akroan. Next turn. God damn, we can't stay away from the Niv Magus Elemental. That done changed the game for us. <laughs> okay, so. Now we're gonna play. Now we would play the Niv Magus. Now we would then uh, tap one. We're gonna play the Spring Leaf Drum, okay? Now this doesn't actually target something, it just says tap and untap creature, so you're not, so you're not gonna get a token from this, but. So we're, we're gonna tap this. We're gonna go ahead and tap him. We're gonna get a blue with it. All right. Guess what happens? Trait doctoring on trait doctoring on the Niv Magus. Boom. All right. Now you target the Akroan. You get a token. Booyah! Now you have something else. You don't even have to tap your Akroan if you don't want to to get the mana next turn. All right. So now we're on turn two. Let's go turn three. Let's see what happens. Another Akroan. All right. Well, so we're just gonna want to probably tap the Akroan because you don't really want to swing with it because. 
I mean, you don't want to try to fall for a combat trick in this die because that's kind of important. I've had like nine tokens on the field from this guy before. It's pretty awesome. So we'll tap him, tap the spring leaf, gain a blue, tap one. Uh, oh, sh well, crap. We'll go ahead and play this guy first. Then we're going to go ahead and tap this last one. Play hidden strings. Guess what, guy? Guess what? We're going to go ahead. We're going to tap this Akroan. We'll gain another token. We'll untap this one. And guess what? We'll gain another token. We'll cipher to Niv Mangus. Boom! Two more tokens. Turn three. That's how quick the deck works. Now, then we're going to probably going to swing with the Niv Mangus. I mean, it is turn three, so there is a chance where there might be a blocker. I mean, but we'll just assume there's not. Again, just to show you what how this would happen. Okay, so now we have trait doctoring. Target the Akroan. Heroic, Niv Magus, Trait Doctoring. Heroic Resolves, Exile from Niv Magus Resolves. Trait Doctoring is no more, so you don't have to worry about that even resolve. It never resolves, technically. <coughs> this is now a 3 4, and you also get another token from the Trait Doctoring. Alright, now you, there's hidden strings. So, target, target. Boom, boom. Exile it, exile it with this. Another two counters. Boom. So let's count this on turn three. What did we just achieve here? So we have one. This guy's going to be a five, six. So six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen power by turn three. That is how this deck works. I mean, given we have been getting kind of lucky with the Niv Magus, because Niv Magus is what you want. All right. So now let's go to the next turn. See what happens. If your opponent is not crapping their pants from all this happening, you know, which they might not be, all right? So now swing, all right? Oh, somebody has a nice little lightning bolt for maybe the Akroans or something. I don't know. Well, Triton Tactics. Target him, target him. They both get plus zero, plus three, and if they block anything, that doesn't untap. Oh, guess what? Two more tokens. Oh, wow. All right, swing. All right, not blocked. Oh, guess what? Three more tokens. One, two, three. Boom. I mean, that thing gets like... Four more counters, ridiculousness. All right, turn four achieved probably around 16 to it's probably 16 power now, something like that. <clears throat> so that's how it is, guys. Um, if you have any more questions, just let me know. But just remember this, all right? When you look at how this deck works, remember you control the stack. That's where the key is here. You might have some people fight you on this if you play this deck. Just remember you control the stack. It's done. You have. Rowan. You have Niv Magus. You have spell that will never actually resolve because it gets exiled by Niv Magus. Boom. Seems simple enough. Just think about it like that. It's just it's a stack. Yeah, let's, let's see if I can find a stack of something here. I have like the Star City Games pad, actually. Um Okay, so alright. Uh Net Gear router and a pebble I got for my girlfriend. Okay. What is this online actually? Pretty cute. Alright, so now. Let's get all right. So wait, why'd I grab four things? I I can't count. Okay, so anyway, we have all right. So first off, we cast the trait doctoring. It's now on the stack. All right, it's it's on the stack now. <laughs> we cast stack of cards. No, I'm just kidding. We now we cast uh or no now we target the Crown Crusader with the trait doctoring. It now now that's on the stack. Okay, now we activate the Niv Magus Elemental. Oh wait, that's not in the right order. Oh wait, we control both the spells. I want the heroic to resolve first. Let's put the heroic on top. Heroic resolves. That resolves. That resolves. Yay! Bunch of stuff. All right. <laughs> Seem good. All right, guys. Well, thanks for watching. I hope this makes sense. And. That's pretty much how it works with everything else, because every other heroic in the deck is just like put a plus one plus one counter. The main thing is honestly what I just showed you. That's probably gonna be the most confusing thing to people, but otherwise it's pretty cut and dry. Uh, just whenever you get the Niv Max on the field, that's where it gets kind of confusing because you don't exile it. If you just had it on a crow and you would just target two things or whatever, and uh, the ability would actually resolve. But when you have the Niv Magus, it does not resolve. All right. All right, guys. Well. Thanks for watching. This has been the Crouching Magus Hidden Strings Deck Explanation in Depth. Hope you enjoy it. As I know, I had somebody request this from the Deck Tech video. Hope I hope you're understanding. I made this for you. I hope you're. I hope you. I hope you get this. All right. If you have any more questions, just go ahead. Put a comment on the channel. And all right, guys. Well, 
Uh, just like, subscribe, and I will see you guys for more Magic the Gathering, more Murdered, more Dark Souls, more games, and more nerdy stuff. Alright guys? More computer stuff, anything. Alright guys, thanks for watching.